the EBFTA Mears Chases. Next is a grade three, two and a half mile chase. In the nick of time for Josh Russell on the top. Esther Tide Jubilate for Hems. Grey Rose Bay for John Morgan. Ains Delight for Ryan Costello. Capstick Oleander for David Robertson. Eleanor Rigby for Marty Leedham. Fiddly D for Thomas Rogers. Has also got Jenny Jingle. And Petrovna Della for James Shea is at number nine. As the helicopter whizzes us round again. Let's hope he goes round that once this time. Look at the stand. Pop over the fences. This is the way we'll be going. Good idea to get a look at the tracks here where all the fences are and stuff. And there we go. And away they go then. And Grey Rose Bay. The grey, surprisingly enough, is in the lead. Let's so race down towards the first of 18 in this chase. And oh, there's a four already. Ames Delight's gone. So the uh, mayhem of the last chase race that I did may be carried on into this one, it would seem. A mistake there by Capstick Oleander as well. So three finishes last time and I passed the winning post I've got two more circuits to go and this track is finding a few of these out today and Grey Rose Bay is in the lead and we've seen a lot of John Morgan's horses this year they either win or fall over so he's probably got his heart in his mouth watching this at the moment or where the horses are taking these fences today oh, that one they all go and Grey Rose Bay is showing the way by a good six lengths to in the nick of time on the outside of Eleanor Rigby and Petrovna Della as they take the next and Jenny Jingle's gone there so another one out and the leader makes a mistake as well so we've already lost two as they take that next well, we've lost three another one's gone fiddly D well I think they're both in the same stable as well as they take their seventh and well, I think there's going to be some Tom spent school in this week because I've seen so many fallers for ages. We only had three finishes in the last race and we're not well, we're going to get that many more this time. And they are well strung out and they haven't even done half the jumping yet and Grey Rose Bay is in the lead and it's already made a mistake. Eleanor Rigby is second. In the nick of time is third then Petrov Nadella is fourth and there's a big gap back then to the other two greys, Esther Tide Jubilate and Capstick Oleander. And if I remember right, the Esther Tide Jubilate ran a really big race last week and came from the back. And if I think he's going to try and do the same again. But I'm not going to want to give this John Morgan horse too much rope because these horses tend to not stop. The only thing that usually stops them is the fences. And Grey Rose Bay is in the lead. And Eleanor Rigby in the nick of time and Petrovna Della. And a 10 length gap back to the other two. Capstick Oleander on the outside of Esther Tide Jubilate. Jump that really slowly. So Grey Rose Bay. Over the next one, and another one's gone, and Rigby's gone this time, so that's the fourth one out. And we've only got five left as we pass the screen that looks like it's broken, and then pass the winning post and one more circuit to go. So, bizarre end to day two. And Grey Rose Bay is in the lead by four lengths to In the Nick of Time and Petrovna Della together. And a gap of about eight or ten as they take the next ditch. Oh, that was a mistake by Capstick only under. Back in fourth. Difficult to know where to look at the moment, really. There's stuff going on all over the place as they take the 12th. Good jump there by in the nick of time. And Grey Rose Bay leads from Petrovna Della and in the nick of time. Mistake at the back by Esther Tide Jubilate. They take that next one. And it's difficult to see that we're coming from anything other than the first three at the moment. They take the 15th there. Another mistake by Capstick Oleander. Only got three more fences to take. The camera and I'll never get them all in shot as they take the third last. Just having a look at the 
graphic at the top to see if Estetar Jubilate's still with us. It is at the moment, but it's Grey Rose Bay still in the lead. Petrovna down the second in the nick of time is third. Only got two more fences to take. And Grey Rose Bay in front from Petrovna Della, but in the nick of time is starting to make a move on the outside, racing down there to the final three furlongs and the final two fences. And Grey Rose Bay in front in the nick of time second. Petrovna Della third. The other two are a parish away. It's Grey Rose Bay still in front by about two and a half lengths. Two in the nick of time second. Petrovna Della is third. They're coming down towards the second last. Then now be a short running after the final fence as well, remember. And Grey Rose Bay in the lead by a couple. Gets to it, pops over it nicely. Better jump though by in the nick of time, who's now looming on the outside. It's between these two, I think. Petrovna Della's one pace back in third. Grey Rose Bay in the nick of time at the final fence, and Grey Rose Bay jumps it better and got away from it well. And it's going to be a pillar to post victory for John Morgan. The horse never saw any of the carnage going on behind it. It's one of these, and Grey Rose Bay's the winner. And came in the nick of time, Petrovna Della caps to go the under and is the time jubilate. The other four all crashed out at some point. And a pretty dramatic final two races of the day. Grey Rose Bay takes it for John Morgan in the nick of time for Joshua Sutherland was second. Patron Nadella for James Shea was third. Capstico the under for David Robertson was fourth. And Esther Tar Jubilate may have finished a distance behind but has still finished fifth and picked up a handy 800 quid.